वॉड इज एस्पेशली अग्ली अग्ली इज अग्ली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज नथिंग कॉल अग्ली If at all a term called ugly came, it must have come from the religious organizations because, without any practical knowledge, they give sermons. Ugliness must have come from the teachers and professors because they have no practical knowledge, but they teach engineering and other subjects. Ugliness came. because of the political leaders and the business people they used the people and misuse the people if you use the people you must give them a path when that path was not even to be seen then it is ugliness <laughs> that term must have come from the dictionary the path was not there there was a joke about lalu prasad yadav i called him the zen master of india <laughs> the american senator met lalu prasad yadav in his country in the united states and the american senator showed lalu prasad his beautiful house and lalu prasad said oh my god how did you make such a beautiful house senator said not a problem come so he showed lalu prasad a very beautiful bridge he created he constructed for the government so lalu prasad understood oh from that cut he has built a beautiful house then lalu prasad told the senator since one bridge you constructed in one house look at mine a book full of bridges book full of bridges so the senator you constructed no 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 it is all in the book only that's why i am called the chief minister the path was not there hence it is ugly the 48 Story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones, black nose to Buddha. A nun who was searching for enlightenment made a statue of Buddha and covered it with gold leaf. Wherever she went, she carried this golden Buddha with her. Years passed, and still carrying her Buddha, the nun came to live in a small temple in a country where there were many Buddhas. each one with his own particular shrine and nun was searching for enlightenment searching for a job searching for love a family which is searching for love a family which wanted to have a husband and wife a family which wanted it connect to the joint family in the family tree made a statue of buddha made a statue made a house and covered it gold leaf the nun covered it with gold leaf the borrowed knowledge of that non practical things which the children have learned from the parents or from the cities from the schools and the universities they were thinking that is truth covered and covered it gold leaf and everybody's covered it with gold leaf the beautiful uniform shoes socks tie and the uniforms the look at the uniforms you know these are all borrowed knowledge covered with golden leaf it has got no stuff inside wherever she went she carried this golden buddha wherever the people went they carried that uncultured uncouth barbarian borrowed knowledge with them and create barbarism uncouth and uncultured behavior everywhere they forget even to fold both the hands together to say namaste to the elders a namaste is nothing but trying to tell i and to you yes i one yes a namaste tells you that together is beautiful that we share wherever she when she carried the golden buddha with her but nobody has told them 
de-addiction centers are there if you drink a lot of alcohol they take you to the de-addiction center to the freedom foundation but there is no de-addiction culture borrowed culture to create to make the children understand the beauty of the culture the practical beauty of the culture from the father and mother but now there is no father and mother there are only robot father and robot mother borrowed knowledge so it might be to turn back a lot years passed and still carrying a buddha the nun came to live in a small temple in a count in a country where there were many buddhas each one with his own particular shrine yes each one having their own own huts otherwise it was a vast ocean of 100 acres 200 acres of a joint family family tree you can sleep in any hall there's no designated places very beautiful yes you can climb any tree pluck any thing and eat nobody stops you the nun wished to burn incense before a golden buddha not liking the idea of the perfume straying to the others she devised a funnel through which the smoke could ascend only to a statue this blackened the nose of the golden buddha making it especially ugly that's what everybody does it they keep a funnel so that only their language their borrowed knowledge their ugliness goes only to their child to the husband to the wife and to the bank and they forgot the more you give the more it comes back to this this sharing is the strength and when you forget to share this your power diminishes very fast you become a mentally retarded person and then fear comes you become deceased you go to the hospital and you pay them all the money which you have held on practical thing is very very important the nun a priest a sanyasi a mulla a church father all are having zero practical knowledge they are all bookish and the whole world is after them and that made the rich rich to loot to make others a slave and we have find only slavery everywhere come out of that slavery and it is easy to come out of the slavery you have to meditate and what is meditation it's nothing but when they say go to the gym just look gym you are using machines but in the house you can climb the window and clean the window and the doors climb when you turn the bulbs clean up the bulbs paint it grow vegetables dig it and you find your body is beautifully cut skeletal muscle no visceral fat at all that is the strength that is the power that makes you understand the love of your body connected to the nature otherwise you are connected to machines already they made you a machine again why you go to the gymnasium yes. when i was small nobody stand in front of me i can beat anybody big or small when i was in the in the primary school who stand i can beat up eight standard 10 standard boys yes then as it became more more enmity among my community people told me to learn martial arts wrestling boxing and at the moment i learned martial arts i forgot my original natural power that become i got frightened which whether to attack or no i still remember people rushing up to martial arts no 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 your power on your land when you do your work when you see a lot of fruits and vegetables growing you can see the power one hit anybody will die in front of you you don't have to rush up to japan to take second and third and fifth dan they are only looting the money from you by giving you promises listen to this joke a professor was traveling by boat on his way he asked the sailor 
Do you know psychology, biology, ecology, zoology, physiology? The sailor said no to all his questions. Professor, what the hell do you know on earth? You will die of illiteracy. After a while, the boat started sinking. The sailor asked the professor, do you know swimology, escapology from sharkology? The professor said, no. Sailor said, well, sharkology and crocodology will eat your headology and you will dieology because of your bothology. Practical things is very, very important. You became ugly because the funnel was only going to your Buddha. You are thinking only, otherwise Hindu, Christian, Muslims is such a beautiful to rush up to everybody, hug and enjoy their food, etc. Yes. So many cousin sisters and cousin brothers to touch and jump and play. When that was disconnected, they've created good touch and bad touch, molest and rape and created a fear among everybody in the community. And when that was disconnected, they, every psychologist knows if the child was not hugged and kissed, the child cannot grow to become a most beautiful ornament. The child can just dis get destroyed. And that destruction is happening because they do not want anybody. They want bonsai in every child. As the child start growing, they can't, can't start connect, disconnecting, come, keep trimming the roots. How does a bonsai grow? It is only this small, maybe it is 50 years, 100, but the tree is still small. How did they make the tree that small? But that's cut, cutting the roots and cutting the roots, sir, cutting the roots. Yes, you keep on cutting your culture, keep on cutting you, come connecting to the nature. You and That is disconnected. You forgot about love and you only know one love, that is the love from the books or from the certificates you run after certificates thinking the biggest certificate is your love it's only one path to enlightenment to truth to God it's love that will remove all the ugliness there is no ugliness in this world everything is so beautiful and you are the most beautiful person ever happened in this earth